One of the first songs that really helped me to feel like I could just pick up the guitar and start. Just kind of just do a cool stuff with the chords I already knew is um, Lost Cause by Beck. So what you want to do is put your, it's going to start out with F major seven. So put your thumb here, first finger on one, on the B string, two, three, and make sure you pull up this tab, this version three on ultimate guitar. And what you're going to do is, so what it is, it's F major seven, so then C, C over B. So, what I would do if I was learning this is spend a lot of time on this first part because the rest is going to feel kind of the same. So, whoops. What's hard about it is getting your pick to go down, up, down, up. So, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Three, you're switching to C. Do it real slow, and then we'll move on to the next part. Most of the verse is the same, except it goes A minor, E7. So you can look carefully at this. The verse is kind of like, it's almost the same. Like if you could do that intro, you can do this. You just gotta watch out for little changes. Like the first line of the verse. The next line has a zero, if you look carefully. Zero. Next line has a little different. So tiny little variations in there. Now the next line I disagree with a little bit, but it switches to A minor, I think it just goes. I'd have to listen to it, but I don't think there's two twos right here. So one thing is just make sure that you have the right chord. So this is to leave you alone. It says 0, 2, 2, 2, 1, 0, then a 0 up high, 0, 2, 2, and then it goes to 0 down here. So what I would do is practice strumming A minor, and then E, and then you got to add your pinky on D to make it an E7. So, I think maybe there's two, there should only be one, two. I think this is right. So get rid of the first twos, you got to listen to it, but... Lots of tiny little things change, but so far you should be able to do this. So basically F major 7, C, C over B, and then A minor, E with D. Okay, then you gotta scroll down a ways till there's something actually really new. Um, chorus. So if you scroll down to the, where it says chorus, baby you lost, it's gonna go like this now. Now this is a really nice trick. You learn a lot of little tricks, songs like this. This is F major seven, because we're heading the E on top, then we slide up to just G. Just the same shape to a third fret, so. something's wrong with this, but now it's right. That's right. Yeah, 
yeah, so that's F to G. And later you can use these shapes like. They're useful shapes to know. The next part where there's something really different aside from tiny little note changes is all of a sudden an A7 pops up. Let me find it. So scroll down the tab. It's quite a ways down. We're looking for 0, 2, 2, 2, 3 up on the high strings. I should have like cut parts of this tab out because it's hard to find it. So if you go down to the chorus, the next chorus, um, right before verse 3, something new pops out out of nowhere and it kind of anticipates the bridge. So it goes. So we're in the key of F, sort of. We're kind of in between keys with this song. What's happening is we're in the key of C but we're also sort of in the key of F. And so A A7 will work. So we got, S this is right before verse three. And then you lay your finger flat on two, 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 and you put your ring finger up here. So C major, A7. And then you go verse three. same stuff so then the next big part is the bridge and this is where it really shifts to A major so it changes it sort of changes keys here now um, so the first part's kind of tricky you got to hold down A major got an F chord, you don't need your thumb, but you could if you wanted to. And then you put pinky up here on top. So the first part of the bridge. And then you got C, which we've already seen. Actually this is different. That's just C, that's easy. It's easier, you just get to stay on C, so. Next time you go to A again. That's interesting. I didn't notice that there's an E in the bass right there. You ain't never. So I'm on bridge on the third line. Make sure you're looking at this tab. It says you ain't never been. I never played that with E right there. So I could have been wrong for a long time. It sounds good like that. Again, like so. Again, like all the stuff we've kind of seen by this point, you just gotta sit here for a while and figure it out. Um, and that's really it. So, if anyone has any questions, let me know. And one last thing, like I remember I used to perform this song at some cafes, and it's kind of cool just to go like. It's hard to like memorize a whole song like this, so you practice it. You want to practice it off this accurate tab, but then it's kind of good just to memorize the chords. Like, so the intro is going to be F C C over B F C C over B A minor E seven F for the chorus. Like with basic chords. And then for the bridge, you learn the chords there. A, F, C. So you can just strum the chords. That's the point I'm trying to make. Because if you actually try to like perform this for somebody, it's pretty hard. So if anyone has any questions, let me know. It's a real nice song and it's 
I would not I would not teach this to beginners, but um, if you're really motivated, I mean, you can do it. It's definitely more of an intermediate level song. So, hope this is helpful. If anyone has any song requests, just leave a comment. All right, bye.